Well, it finally came in today. The Steam Machine. Hi, my name is Ellis, otherwise known as Ulan on the internet, and I was one of the few lucky people selected by Valve to receive a Steam Machine. It's only in its beta state, but I'm pretty sure it's indicative of what the final version is going to be. So let's crack this open and see what we got. Here's the unit itself. Let's open this up. Now, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what this thing is, but for those who don't, it's Valve's attempt at bridging the gap between console and PC players. You can play your Steam games on your big screen TV in the living room. Instead of on your 20 inch monitor. Wow. Here it is. It's got uh, audio jacks, it's got uh, USB 2.0 ports, uh, looks like some VGA, uh, SATA. Uh, basically this is a mid mid to high level PC, uh, so it is expandable, but like I said, uh, it's mostly a console style experience in your living room. And uh, it runs natively on a Linux based operating system called Steam OS. Now here's the unit side by side with an Xbox. They're, uh, they're similar in size, but the Steam machine is quite a bit heavier. Side profile, right there. So comparable, but uh, a little bit bigger than the ye old Xbox. Here we have the controller, and uh, you can definitely tell this is a, a beta controller, just because um, the, the the plastic feel and I I believe the concept images had some sort of a, a touch screen, but here you have four buttons got two concave trackpads as opposed to analog sticks and uh, you know what it's, it's it's pretty comfortable it's got a looks like a micro USB port right there and then it has these two buttons we can click right there but uh, I'll make a separate video about the controller later here you see it next to a uh, DualShock 3 controller it's quite a bit larger. The weight, it's it's about the same. It's a little bigger, so the weight is distributed a little more, so the PS3 controller feels heavier. And the weight is concentrated more in these wings right here. It's, it's quite a bit lighter in the center. But there's that right there for comparison. Here we have, what's this? Thank you for shaping the future of Steam. Your feedback will refine Steam OS. And uh, this is just an outline of the system. Uh, Wi-Fi, where that is. If you don't know how to use a HDMI cable, this will help you out. Here's some uh, important information just uh, how to place it, and you actually place it horizontal, not vertically, like I placed it. So that's why it's good to read the instructions. So let's place this the right way, which is like that. Okay, uh, power cables, HDMI cables. No, this is a this is a USB cable. I'm sorry, USB power. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure I will find out soon. And then Steam Operating System Recovery. There you go. Uh, seems to be it as far as that goes. Well, let's plug this thing in and see how it runs. So here's what the device looks like turned on. Uh, this button right here is actually a button you push. It's not a Just like a touch and on the side right here. It says uh, GeForce GTX, so 
I'm interested to know if you change out the graphics, if it will indeed update, or if this is even customizable at all. So that is cool. Now here's our login screen. It's gonna log into my account. Oh geez, I'm gonna have to edit this out so you don't see my password. But uh, this is how you input uh, text. Actually, that's a good time to tell you. Now the uh, controller, it uh, takes some getting used to, but I can tell that with some practice, you can get some pretty good precision on there. Now here's the main screen. It's uh, pretty streamlined. Uh, it looks similar to, you know, your Xbox, dashboard, PS3, just, you know, typical console. Now we can go to our library and view all games. As you can see, I have almost 250 games, but not every game you could install from the start. Like, uh, I was interested to see how something like Company of Heroes would play on the controller, but we can't have that yet. But I am installing a few games. Going kind of slow. I don't want to install Dota though. Actually, I do because that's a good test of the controller. Super Meat Boy, Serious Sam, Metro Last Light, V, FTL, Painkiller, and Hotline Miami. A lot of these games, such as these two, uh, were gifted to me by Valve to test out the machine. But that's it for this video. If you want any more, just tell me in the comments down below if you want to know how any of the games play. I plan on doing at least one video showcasing what the controller can do uh, on different genres such as shooters, strategy games like Dota, and games that require precise platforming like Super Meat Boy. Well, that wraps it up for this video. If you liked it, subscribe and favorite. If you didn't like it, subscribe anyway because I have other videos that you might like. But until next time, I'm Owen.